So over the past few months, I've been having what I thought were Wacom issues when I finally figured out what was going on. So I had set up a new machine a few months ago and installed ZBrush on it, updated everything to the latest and greatest. 12 megabytes of RAM, 500 megabyte hard drive, built-in spreadsheet capabilities, and a modem that transmits at over 28,000 BPS. Anything you can name, I tried to update this thing. It was my new gaming rig, also slash workstation rig, and I tried to make this thing the most up-to-date as possible. I had noticed a host of weird almost ghost issues that i could not course correct really no matter how hard i tried now i'd assumed initially that these were wacom issues or driver related issues um, the issues i was noticing were lag um, a very subtle micro lag or inconsistencies in the pressure sensitivity the pressure sensitivity changing on me like mid-stroke uh, just a host of a ton of things that when all things combined made the program incredibly difficult and frustrating to use. I've been using ZBrush for many, many years and I hadn't noticed this problem before. In fact, I, I tried other machines and I couldn't get this problem to replicate itself. And so for a very long time, I was dealing with this problem with the assumption that I really couldn't fix it. I tried everything I knew to fix it. I, I mean, you name it, I did it. I, I disabled Windows Inc. I disabled Windows Inc. in the system. Problems both times still there. Um, I, I reinstalled the drivers. I uninstalled the drivers. I, I reformatted Windows to the latest version. I even downloaded it from the cloud to make sure there was nothing like weird on my hard drive that like was sort of corrupting the issue. It, this was going on up until very, very recently when I finally figured out what was going on. Okay, so, so what did I do and how did I figure out how to do this? In all of my frustration with dealing with this problem for months, I finally got to thinking, well, is this happening on other versions of ZBrush? I, at the time, was working on, I was updating it to the latest version, hoping that with each new version release of ZBrush, that somehow the problem would sort of fix itself. It never did. Um, so I ended up downloading uh, ZBrush Core Mini, you know, the free version of ZBrush. And I just wanted to see, in this very basic program, was I still noticing the issues that I were facing? When I went to install it, the installer threw up an error, an error in which I'd never seen before. And it told me that my C++ distributables were a different version than the ones that they were expecting or that it couldn't install basically because the version of the C++ was a newer version and therefore couldn't be overwritten by the installer. Now this error also said to look at the troubleshoot and help folder within ZBrush to find all of the C++ binaries that were required to run ZBrush Core Mini. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Yes! Long story short, ZBrush full version also has this. Now you can obviously go to the help docs and, and read this and find out like all that stuff is necessary. But if you have these things already installed, it's not really something you think about, especially, you know, when you're updating them to even newer versions. It turned out that when I went to compare the versions of the C++ distributables that were in Pixelogic's folder, a lot of them were at least a version or two older than the versions I had on my machine. So I got to thinking, what if I uninstalled every single C++ distributable that was found on my machine, uninstalled it, wiped all of them clean, not installed it over, but uninstalled everything, and then from that troubleshoot and help folder, installed each C++ distributable from that folder onto my machine. Once I went through and installed each one, one by one, manually on my machine, and I restarted it, I did not have the micro lag, I did not have the stuttering, I did not have the pressure changes, I did not have anything, any of the issues or the phantom issues that I was noticing in ZBrush magically disappeared. If you had the same issues that I did, 
and nothing has worked for you so far, just try to uninstall every single C++ distributable and then reinstall them from the ZBrush troubleshoot and help folder. If this is, if your machine's like me, there's at least one of them that's either very out of date or one that's really newer than the one that is found in that folder. And there's something about those conflicts, I think, at least on my machine, that was causing these issues to happen. So while I can't guarantee that's gonna fix your problem, and usually with these Wacom drivers, there's a lot of things going on there that could potentially be causing conflicts. Understatement of the year, asshole. There's a chance that that is potentially what's going on, because it, it was for me. And once I had uninstalled it and reinstalled it, all of my issues were gone. I haven't seen this mentioned anywhere. I've looked up Wacom driver issues and ZBrush issues, but I'd never seen anyone, you know, talk about reinstalling the C++ distributables. So do yourself a favor, give that a try. And if it does work, mention it down in the comments. I take no responsibility, by the way, in case this, this screws up your machine in any way. I'm going to just give you a bit of a huge disclaimer. I don't you know, fully know if this is going to you know, screw with anything. You may have other programs that rely on those new distributables. I don't know. All I know is that at least for ZBrush and for Photoshop and for Substance Painter, the programs that I use in my tool bag, it works and it's solid and everything is functioning and nothing is broken and ZBrush is working the way I need it to. I'm making this video for others out there like me who, you know, up until now had just sort of accepted that this issue was kind of unsolvable and short of buying a new machine, was just gonna sort of learn how to sculpt around these sort of inconsistencies. Give that a shot. And if it works, comment down below, let me know. As always, follow me on Twitter if you want to see more. I usually post on Twitter right when these things come up. I also have an art station you can check out. And if you want to see more, there's a bunch of uh, sculpting videos on here as well as other tutorials uh, that you can watch that will hopefully make your journey into, at least in my realm, character art a little bit easier. I certainly was losing my mind from this problem and I had wished someone had told me to check this sooner. Thanks for watching.